Okay, so we started off with two cups of graham cracker crumbs and one stick of melted butter. We're gonna go ahead and mix these together and create a graham cracker crust in the bottom of our 13 by nine pan. This is gonna be a super easy and super delicious, no bake dessert, perfect for summer. So let's go ahead and get this graham cracker crust perfectly combined. All right, and once this is all flattened out, we're gonna go ahead and bring in our Philadelphia no bake cheesecake. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so good. And we're gonna use this whole container right on top of our graham cracker crust. And I know this seems like I'm just making a no bake cheesecake, but this is gonna be so much more, so delicious, so easy. And if you can't find this no bake cheesecake, do not stress, you can make your own. All this is is some cream cheese, some powdered sugar, and a little bit of vanilla. And you will get almost the same exact thing as this tub of no bake cheesecake. Okay, but let's use this whole thing. This thing is about 24 ounces, so if you make your own, make sure that you make 24 ounces. Okay. Once we have it all in there, we're gonna just use our spatula and spread it out without trying to bring up that graham cracker crust that we just so nicely placed on there. If you guys had extra time, you could put the graham cracker crust in the freezer to let it harden before you do this step, but we are trying to be quick and efficient with this, so we are just going forward with this delicious dessert and we are not gonna be refrigerating between steps. Okay, that looks absolutely delicious. Now I'm gonna come in with some crushed pineapple. Now you gotta make sure you really drain this and even squeeze out the juices because the juices can ruin the texture of the dessert if you don't do that. Mm, so good. All right, and with each layer, we're just gonna spread it the best we can from edge to edge. Oh my goodness, okay. This pineapple is just gonna taste scrumptious with that cheesecake, but we have plenty of other things that are gonna go right on top to make this the ultimate dessert for summer. Now we're gonna come right in with some fresh strawberries and we're just gonna kinda sprinkle them here and there on top. You can get some frozen strawberries if you want them to be a little bit more affordable. I went to Walmart today and the prices are skyrocketing, but I am not gonna stop cooking for you guys because I am just so excited to share my recipes. So I hope you guys continue to follow me and enjoy everything because I am doing it for you. All right, let's get these strawberries on here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all these, but that's okay because then I'll have a little snack later. Okay, that looks... Perfect. Continuing with the fruit, we're gonna add some banana slices right in there, kind of just squeeze them in between the strawberries. We're gonna really fill up this pan with all of our favorite fruit. Now, if you don't like bananas or strawberries or even pineapple, you can swap it out. You could do some peaches, you could do some raspberries, some blueberries, whatever you like, just throw it in here because it will taste amazing with that cheesecake. I mean, who doesn't love fruit with cheesecake? Okay, almost done. Just really wanna get a banana in each bite so that no one is disappointed. That looks gorgeous. All right, now we're coming in with our whipped topping and we are gonna add a nice layer on top of this, cover up all of those fruits Oh yeah, you probably only need about eight ounces of whipped topping, but I always use whipped topping, so I just went ahead and got the big container because it will not go to waste. Okay, and we are just gonna spread this like we did with everything else from edge to edge, covering up all of those fruits just beautifully. Okay, that looks absolutely delicious. Now for the best toppings. I have some maraschino cherries, that we are just gonna plop right onto our Cool Whip, kind of just sporadically like we did with all the other fruits. Oh yeah. Now you could do some fresh cherries if you like, but I always like how vibrant and juicy maraschino cherries are. Plus it kind of makes it seem almost like a banana split dessert with the maraschino cherries. All right, and to add a little bit of crunch, I have some chopped walnuts. I was looking for the peanuts at Walmart, but I could not find them to save my life. So we're doing walnuts, which should be just as delicious. 
And you can totally do a pecan, or you can skip the nuts altogether if there's an allergy. Okay, used about half of that bag. Now, of course, last but not least, we have some chocolate syrup. Oh yeah, and we're just going to drizzle that right on top of the entire dessert. Perfect. All right, now we're just gonna set this in the fridge for about one hour. Oh my, I am so excited to dig into this fruity cheesecake deliciousness. So let's go ahead and get a slice. to that bottom crust. Oh, the chocolate even set. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks so good. All right. Time to dig in. Got cheesecake. You can't even see all the fruity stuff because of the clip, but I am not mad at that. Give a nice, good bite. Mmm. This is dangerous, you guys. So good. <laughs> 